Atom is derived from the Greek word atomos, which means uncuttable, that is, it will not be divided into more small parts. As by the combination of many atoms, molecules will form, and by the combination of many molecules, elements will form, and by the combination of many elements, compounds will form. Around 2500 years ago a Greek dude named Democritus was sitting around, just thinking. He was thinking about cutting stuff up, and came up with the idea that there must be a point where you could no longer cut something any smaller. He named the atom after the Greek word atomos, which means that which can't be split. Democritus believed that the atoms, differed in size and shape, were in constant motion in a void, collided with each other, and, during these collisions, could rebound or stick together. Therefore, changes in the matter were a result of dissociations or combinations of the atoms as they moved throughout the void. Although Democritus' theory was remarkable, it was rejected by Aristotle. Aristotle did not believe in the atomic theory, and he thought that all materials on Earth were not made of atoms, but of the four elements, Earth, fire, water, and air. He believed all substances were made of small amounts of these four elements of matter, and the atomic theory was ignored for nearly 2000 years. If atomic theory was ignored, Then, how, atom were rediscovered? Find out in next video. Till then, stay tuned to our channel, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace learning.